Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. This is another story time with Slim. I want to tell you guys how I used to make wigs for my alopecia clients, regular clients, elderly people, lupus, cancer. I used to just make them. I loved it. I enjoyed it. And I give them away because I wanted everybody to be happy and at least have one. One time I made a grip of wigs. This is some of them I'm displaying on this video. I hope you enjoy it. Once I got finished making all my wigs and they were going really fast. I was selling them. I was giving them away. My clients was needing their hair done and they was in between braids. And they would just come and grab a few. I went to an elderly home. And I talked to the nurse that was on staff that morning. And I saw two black ladies sitting over in the corner. One was in a wheelchair. I forgot her name, but she was in a wheelchair and she was paralyzed from the waist down. The other lady, she had to be about maybe 68, 69 years old. She was sitting at the table watching TV and she was crocheting this little doily thing. And I went over and talked to her. And I said, uh, do your family come up and do your hair? And she was like, I haven't seen my grandchildren in years. And I felt bad for her. So I asked her, I said, well, do you wear wigs? Because she was mobile. She could walk by herself, you know, get around by herself. And I was like, do you wear wigs? And she was like, yes, I wish I had one. And I went out to my trunk and I got these wigs. And I brought them in. And I mean, when I put this wig on this lady's head, she just came to life. I mean, she got up from the table. She started sashaying around in a circle. She was looking at all the people who lived there, telling them what I look like, how I look. I know I'm fine. And it just was so funny to me. I really appreciated how much she loved that wig. So I gave it to her. And I was like, don't worry about nothing. I said, you can just wash it and put it back on. It lasts a long time. It has straps. It has combs. Um, it will not lose its texture and it'll last a long long time and she was very happy so she went over to the lady in the wheelchair and she said girl do you want one of these wigs and the lady said well you sure do look good in that one and I went over to the lady and I let her pick out the last four or five that I had this lady put on this wig and I tell you it just lit her up Y'all don't know. I was born on Valentine's Day. My heart just bled. I was laughing and grinning with them. And I mean, it almost looked like that woman was about to get up out that wheelchair and just roll out. It changed their lives, which made me feel very, very good. So I continued to make wigs. I continued. And one time I went back. I think it was about three months later. I had another batch made up. And it was something that I knew they would like. So I went down there and I called myself going to give them another wig. And one of the ladies, the one in the wheelchair, had passed away. She was a little older. I think she had to be in her 70s at the time when I first went. But y'all don't know the feeling that I get. I enjoy doing it. And when they put them wigs on and it lit them up, and I realized their family don't come and brush their hair or wash their hair, and they can move around a little bit. It saddened me, and at the time, my grandmother was still living, and I just didn't understand it. I mean, I just didn't understand it. But when I tell you those wigs last a long time, and they fit any head, they have adjustable straps, all you have to do is wash them, put a little oil on them, and roll out. When they get shabby, dip them in some hot water like you do your synthetic braids, and keep it pushing. This lady here bought two, one butt length and one to her breast, and she enjoyed both of them. I have a lot of people that took pictures for me. I wish I had the video of those women in that uh, old folks home, because when I say it lit them up, it was so dry and quiet and dreary in there, and I walked in and just changed their whole day. And this lady was getting her blood pressure taken, and she did not take her wig off. She did not let that lady take her stuff. She was sitting there. They were smiling and talking to each other. It just lit up the room. It made me feel good. So I know when I get back 
to work that I'm going to uh, continue to make these wigs. I hope you guys like them. They don't take long. They fit any head. And um, I can't wait to get back to work. That's my story time. I really enjoyed this video because it brought back the memories of when I just spread them out. My customers really enjoyed these wigs. I made me two or three myself for hot flash reasons. <laughs> LOL. Yeah. I have to take it off sometime. Put it on the side. But when it comes time to run out to the market or go run a quick errand, there's nothing like throwing on any color, any length, any texture, and knowing that I handmade these wigs myself. I took a lot of pride, put a lot of love into them, and it was all worth it. In between time, in the meantime. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if anybody ever want a wig, holler at your girl. Don't take long. You can style them. They're all full. They got butt length and it's pre-stretched. All colors. I cannot wait to get back to work. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you next time. I want to thank everybody for watching. Please subscribe. Bang that bell. Leave a comment down below if you wish. And make sure you hit that like button. Thank you very much.